A hearing that could determine the future of two IMPD officers involved in the shooting death of Aaron Bailey just wrapped up for the day. Bailey was an unarmed man who drove off during a traffic stop. 24 Hour News Tim McNicholas live at the City County Building. Tim, take us through what happened today. Well, today was day one of a hearing that could last three days. You might remember, you might remember last fall, a special prosecutor decided not to file criminal charges against the officers, and IMPD Chief Brian Roach recommended they should be fired. But that cannot happen without a decision from the merit board. The chief says officers Michael Dinson and Carlton Howard did not follow their training when they killed Bailey. Their lawyers argued in opening statements today that they did what they're sworn to do on the basis that they feared for their safety. Police say Howard stopped Bailey for a traffic violation. According to court documents, Howard says Bailey refused to get out of the car. Bailey drove away, leading police out of chase and crashing into a tree. The officers said they saw Bailey reaching toward the center council and they each fired multiple rounds. Their lawyers say Bailey was driving on a suspended infraction and acting nervous before he drove off. IMPD Deputy Chief Chris Bailey, no relation to Aaron, said the officers fired 11 rounds into the back of the car without seeing Bailey's hands. Uh, I believe that these officers were hurried, that they panicked uh, at the traffic stop, that uh, um, for whatever reason, they had uh, a fear, which in my opinion was unreasonable based on, this, based on the information that they knew at the time. We believe that the evidence will be overwhelmingly clear that Denson and Howard did exactly what they were sworn to do in a very difficult, tense, rapidly evolving, uncertain moment where they had to decide, am I going home to my loved one tonight or am I about to be shot? Dinson and Howard's lawyers argued the chief based his recommendation on the firearms review board's findings. A board the attorneys say is too influenced by the chief to decide fairly. The merit board that met today is a different group consisting of seven people, some appointed by the police union, some by the mayor, and some by the city council. Lawyers for both sides objected and interrupted throughout the witness statements. Deputy Chief Bailey said that based on the reports he read, the officers escalated the situation when they should have de-escalated. 